Another feature of the carriage is what we've designed into it is ease of use. Again, you can see how easy it was to maneuver the barrel and to freeze it into a particular angle. Really all it takes is a quarter turn on both things and, and that barrel now is pretty well frozen in there. But uh, that just makes it very easy for you to adjust heights and so forth. And also, if you want to change barrel, one of the features of Coaches Club Cannons is that all of the barrels are interchangeable. Even our 12 inch one, which you may have seen the demonstration, would fit in this fine. This long barrel would fit in our shorter standard carriage. The only loss, the, the only thing you lose a little bit is, is that you can't point it at such a high angle because the back of the barrel would hit the ground. But for many people, they just enjoy shooting it and target shooting it just like a gun and it's just all up to you. However you want it is perfect. And again, very easy to use. I did want to mention on this fancy one, if uh, we want to zoom on this, this is a custom carriage. We do custom work, both custom paint. This is a special treatment and a decal. If you look in there, you'll see the little skulls. We put a little red on the back of the carriage just to make it look way cool. Uh, the standard one is painted black, and that's the one you would get if you get uh, uh, standard can off the carriage. Also as far as the finish of the barrel, this is a machined brushed look. We do lathe it some, but it's really a brushed uh, metal look. This will need to be, uh, we keep a light oil on this. This is susceptible to rust. When you get done shooting, make sure you clean it up. Uh, clean out the barrel and get a little light rust just like you would your guns. Make sure you have a little light oil on there to prevent rust. So that's pretty much uh, uh, <clears throat> the 18 inch, we call it the World War II cannon, but again it's really a design that's kind of typical of uh, 20th century type guns and it helps us, allows us to do all this versatility. And <clears throat> what I'd like to show a little bit now is uh, we've talked about the standard ammunition if you want to call it ammunition, it's a golf ball, easy to get. But many times you just want to use it as a signal cannon or get a bang out of it. And that's way fun. One of the things about smoothbore cannons is whatever fits in here, after we put our powder in, we'll shoot out of there. If you're just having a family deal and you don't want to be shooting golf balls all over, you can get these little spongy balls. They don't weigh anything. You can just stuff those down in the barrel. You just take, and this is just a piece of wood with a little rubber footy on it, and you can just, punt, uh, just uh, push that right down into the bottom of the barrel, and you'll get a tremendous explosion. You just don't have something flowing all over the place. Another alternative for many black powder cannon shooters is they just crumple up some aluminum. Aluminum doesn't create a static charge, so you don't have a worry of a premature detonation. And again, that would fit in there nice and snug. You push it right on down. When that shoots, you end up pretty much with aluminum confetti. So again, you get a very big bang, but you don't have any projectile that you're having to worry about. So anyway, that's what we shoot. Uh, again, these are called black powder cannons. There's several different sizes. We generally recognize what is called cannon grain black powder, and cannon grain is it's a, it's a very coarse grain powder that burns a little slower, that works very well in cannons. However, for those of you who have done some black powder cannon shooting, FFG, even as high as triple FG, if you want a little more bang for your buck, are perfectly safe being shot out of our cannons. Our cannons, again, are made out of that 1018 solid rod steel and are guaranteed that they will never fail. Your barrels will never fail. The other thing that is asked of us many times is can I use uh, the substitute black powders. This one is a Hodgson's. As long as it says muzzle loading propellant, that works just fine also because you, you may have to search a little to get black powder. But this works fine also and you can easily get that anywhere. So those are the powders. On quick cleaning in between shots and so forth. What's really nice about this golf ball size cannon is that just a, uh, there's all kinds of varieties of bottle brushes. In between sh sh uh, shots if you want, 
we can just take and just get that down into the barrel brush that around get a little bit of the powder out this will go all the way down to the powder chamber and then if you're wanting to a couple of brushes like this and then you can tip the pow you can tip the carriage over a little get some of the excess powder sometimes i have to admit sometimes i do that sometimes i don't what you do want to be very careful of with all black powder cannons is number one you don't want to be banging or, or have things that carry static charges or can create sparks we never have metal on metal uh, now the aluminum carries no static charge and can't create sparks so that's safe but you don't want to be screwing around in here with screwdrivers and things like this they should be wood the PVC seems to be just fine and that's one of the things you do not want to create static charges because uh, black powder is is dangerous it's a real explosive once you shoot it you'll see how much power they are the other thing which we want to be always cautious of when we're doing a shot is that once we've shot we want to make sure that before we reload there are no embers in this and one of those compressed cans that clean off computers they have a little nozzle and you can just put that right in that hole go ch -ch -ch, that puts a uh, freezing air in there and blows out a little of the extra powder and you're pretty well guaranteed there's no embers in there then if you don't have one of those you make sure you know up to five minutes in between shoots uh, to make sure that there are no embers uh, in in the powder chamber other than that again this is an extremely safe just common sense activity that you do if you use common sense you're going to be great and again featuring our one of my original designs the 18 inch uh, World War II howitzer in our in this case custom carriage all meant for user friendly for taking care of it easy join the sport of black powder cannon shooting you will love it it's more fun than you can imagine light the fuse feel the power join the club, be a team member. Thank you so much. This is horrible.